Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about 2025 uh, for your sign, Aquarius. If you're watching this video, I suppose that it is your sign or perhaps your ascendant. Whatever the reason for you to uh, watch this video, I uh, thank you for that. And I hope that what I'm going to tell you will be useful throughout the year in many ways. And um, the first planet I want to talk to you about, because I'm going to develop on the basis of the transits, the major transits, and mainly the uh, slower planets around the zodiac in relation with your sign. Pluto is the first planet I'm going to talk to you about, because Pluto is going to enter and settle in Aquarius. It will begin on the 20th of November. 2024. Today is the 25th of October 2024. So in a less than a month's time from now, Pluto enters and settles in Aquarius. It's already been in Aquarius twice, once in 2023, once in 2024. Now it is going to remain in this sign for the next 20 years. So that is a very slow and long transit. Pluto represents regeneration. So the question would be, while Pluto is transiting, and especially during the first uh, occurrence of this uh, transit, you know, in the first degrees of the sign, so the first few years, I would say, because it is a very slow planet, being so slow, the influence is very profound, very deep. It's not always felt, actually, but when other planets contribute to uh, amplify, increase the energy of Pluto, then it is felt. And what it means is that regeneration needs to apply in some very special areas of your life, the ones you connect with, the most. So it could be your private life, it could be your health, you know, it could be any area that is important to you and on which perhaps your life depends. So Pluto will have that very strong influence. And as I said earlier on, when other planets are going to contribute to the energy of Pluto, you know, to collaborate with it or to go against, then there will be reactions. And we'll talk about that uh, just after this, actually, because there is another planet that is, at the moment, creating, and it is about to create, a very positive relationship with Pluto. So that is going to help you. Because if regeneration is needed, sometimes it's not easy to deal with the uh, situation uh, that arises and makes it for you necessary to regenerate, you know, to change profoundly your way of life, perhaps, completely. And this is probably what is going to happen over the next 20 years. And that is something that is going to happen to us all, you know, to, to the whole society, to the whole world. That is progress, you know, evolution and transformation, deep transformation. At the moment, Jupiter is in Gemini. It's good news for you because Gemini is an air sign just like yours or just like Aquarius. So between both signs, there is what we call a trine, which is drawn as such. So it's a blue line. Blue lines are nice lines in a chart. Uh, this is going to contribute to a kind of evolution, progress, and perhaps success. Of course, it will begin from when Pluto enters and settles in Aquarius, which, as I said earlier on, will be uh, from the 20th of November 2024 onward. 
Jupiter is going to remain in Gemini, where it is since the 25th of May, 2024. It's going to remain in there until the 9th of June, 2025. So the transit lasts for a bit more than a year. And while Jupiter is in Gemini, being in positive relationship with Pluto, it's going to help you. It's going to help you regenerate what you need to regenerate, you know, transform what you need to transform so that you can obtain more and so that your life may become better. And Jupiter is transiting the fifth sign from your sign. You see, yours is number one because it is the one we are talking about today. Yours or Aquarius, I should say, because I'm not sure if it's your sign. But anyway, uh, Pisces is number two, Aries number three, Taurus number four, and Gemini number five. So number five is linked to the fifth house symbolically. And that fifth house represents love, sen your sentimental life, the uh, people you love, you care for around you. It represents the good things of life, holidays, you know, luck, and uh, anything that can bring some ray of sunshine in your life. That is really Jupiter being a very strong planet. It is the largest one of them all, you know. And in Jupiter, you could put all the planets of the solar system. They would fit in there. That's just, you know, to tell you how big it is. 3,000 times the size of the Earth. Imagine. Enormous. And that is the reason why we associate Jupiter with the notion of growth and progress and success. So while it is in